We won the Premier League in a special and special way. Always had the feeling that the records are there to be broken. So one day one team will do 100 points or 101 or two or three. But to do this, they have to do the perfect season. What's going on guys? It's your boy Elisha here and we are back for You Know Ball with a very special edition with Nissan. And today we are talking to one of, if not the greatest manager of all time. I'm talking about the one and only Pep Guardiola. Pep, mucho gusto. How you feeling today? Pleasure to be here, Elisha. Now I'm very excited for this because we're going to be talking about an iconic season for you where you won your first ever Premier League trophy and capped off the season with 100 points, which has never been done before. And as part of Nissan's electric away days campaign, we've included some questions about some significant away days that season. Jose Guardiola Sala, let's find out if you know ball. Question number one. During that season, who was the first Man City player to score? And it was away at Brighton. Uh, 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 I would've. Correct. Sergio Arroyo is absolutely correct. Correct. <laughs> Listen, we're starting out a little doubtful, but you got it correctly. That's all that matters. I, I was lucky, I promise you. So, but uh, if I doubt, so the, the, the abhorrent or the challenge I have, I would have a big, big one. So I was lucky. Question number two. Which Man City player during that season made the most appearances in the league? Uh, Ederson. Is that your final answer? Ederson is the keeper. He never make a substitution, so I'm pretty sure he was the player with more appearances. That was a great train of thought, but that is incorrect. The answer is Kevin De Bruyne. He had 37. Ederson came at number two with 36. No way. Yes way. We did the research. Question number three. How many games did you win during that season? Wow. 36, 35, 36. <laughs> I need one number, Pep. I need one number. Think, think, let it marinate. Let it marinate. I believe in you. 35. Oh, that's not correct. It was 32 games during the season. I have a lot of confidence on my team. 32, not bad. That was the record for the most wins in a season, which has now been broken. But you guys still hold the record for the most away wins with 16, which is very, very impressive. And to that point, you know, we're talking about Nissan's electric away days campaign. Tell us, you know, it's so important to be able to be at home, to have the comfort of your own stadium, of the fans. How were you able to pull off such an amazing stretch of 16 away wins? But at the end, when you are able to do the season that we have done, you have to be comfortable at home away. And at the end, it's just a football game. And approach it, it doesn't matter the environment, and it doesn't matter the stadium. So to make, uh, you know, the season we have done with a uh, with incredible numbers and, and all, all details, so you have to be almost perfect home in a way. We're moving on to round two. Question four. How many goals did you score during the 2017-2018 season? More than 100. Uh, 106? 106 is correct! Come on, I told you, I believed in you. I believe in you, you got it. You just gotta trust your instincts. Yeah. That's, That's all it is. is. 106? Yes! Okay, good. <laughs> To correct, to incorrect. Question number five, you lost two matches. What were the scores during those two matches? Uh, we lost, uh, I don't remember, we lost, we lost again. And the second one, we came, we lost. One, uni one United, one Liverpool. United? No. Yeah, yeah we lost uh, in, in uh, uh, United. So what, what, what was the scores for each of those games? Liverpool, uh, for Liverpool four three, and so Liverpool four three and United, United three two. That's correct. There you go. Moving on to question six, and we just spoke about two very high scoring games during that season. Now, what was the highest scoring margin during that season? And the hint is, it was away at Watford. Mm. 06 or 16? 06. Correct. Correct. Yes, you guys defeated Watford 6 0. 6 0. We spoke of earlier of Sergio Aguero. 
Kevin De Bruyne was fantastic, had 37 appearances during the season, almost a perfect attendance. And, you know, we, we, we speak of high margins. Obviously, as a manager, you affect the team a great deal. You know, you might be humble about it, but that's just the, the truth of the matter. And you have to teach your players a lot. You know, there's a lot of lessons to be learned technically, personally, just overall as a leader. But can you tell us about a time where you've actually learned a lesson or two from your players? Uh, all, uh, every time. The people believe, the people believe that uh, we take decisions because uh, we show them or teach them. I don't like the word teach, but, uh, you know, suggest them. But many times we take a decision, what we learn from them, uh, the behaviors, and you react and every day, maybe differently than the day before, it depends on what happened of them and on of the pitch. So yeah, you're right. You are the best manager. You are a better manager year by year, but the relation to have or what you learn from them and the skills for the player, you, you, didn't, you didn't know it that they have and you discover it and after that you can adjust. It depends on many, many things. Yeah, you're right. So people say, no, the manager, uh, you know, suggest them or teach them many things. It's, I would say it's completely the opposite. You learn a lot of them. It's just to take, uh, you know, two eyes, and you, know, you have to coach, an assistant coach, you have four eyes, six eyes. And what we see from there, we learn a lot, a lot. That's true. What player right now in the Man City squad do you think would make the best manager? Mm, yeah, good question. I think Gundogan would be a good manager. Gundogan would be. I would say the, for the... His humanity, uh, personality to transmit the message and his awareness and knowledge about, about the game itself. He has been surrounded and been trained with many, many managers and good ones. So I think Gundo will be a good manager. That's a good choice. I can see that too. I can absolutely see that too. But now, moving on to question number seven. In the 5 nil win over Swansea that season, you had five different goal scorers. Can you name all of them. Uh, Gabriel, Sergio, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, Kevin, David, Silva, and, uh, and uh, what center defender? Otamendi. I don't know, my friend. It's impossible to know it. It's impossible to know it that. You are, you are a bad man, my friend. <laughs> I'm trying to remind you of some good days. You're still having good days now. Tell me which one. <laughs> Tell me. One, first. So the five goal scorers were David Silva. Yeah, got it? Bernardo Silva, yeah. Gabriel Jesus, yeah, got it. Raheem Sterling, mm -hmm. and Kevin De Bruyne. Okay, so I three to five. Okay, let's go. You should give me the draw in this uh, question, even. Okay, <laughs> we can, now we four, we four, 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 four and a half to two and a half. So it's so difficult. Question number eight. You only drew four games during that season. Do you remember the four teams that you drew against? Uh, Everton, for sure, it was the first. I don't, know, I don't remember. Give me a clue. Ale. One, of the, one of them is a London team. Yeah, Crystal Palace. All yeah, right, I remember. That's two. Like, after, That's two. That game was after 12 or 13 victories in a row. We were there and we draw and they miss a penalty in the last minute. Ederson safe. I remember perfectly. With this detail, yes. you have to give me. You have to give me the. You have to give me the, the point. Always I remember the victories, my friend. Against the fits and draws, I don't remember. So the answer to the question was Crystal Palace, Everton, Huddersfield, and Burnley. Oh, Burnley away as well. Yeah. Shouldn't I? Burnley away. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We play good there. But listen, I know that was a tough one. Unfortunately, it's only gonna get tougher. We're at. Question number nine. The final day at Southampton. Can you name the starting 11 for that match? Oh, it's Edison, Kyle, John Stones, Otamendi, maybe, Sinchenko, Fernandinho, uh, Kevin De Bruyne, for sure, Rahim, for sure, maybe Leroy, Fabian Dell for Alex. Maybe Fabian, in that year, in that year play Fabian more. Uh, uh, I may, I may play a lot that year, a lot. Laporte. Okay, so you were, you were so, so close. So close. Ederson did not play during that match. Bravo did. Gabriel Jesus was not in the starting. He ended up coming up as a sub. Yeah, it was Bravo, Danilo, 
John Stones, Laporte, Fabian Delph, Kevin De Bruyne, Fernandinho, Gundogan, Bernardo Silva, Leroy Sané, and Raheem Sterling. We've, listen, Pep, we've gone through this journey together. Okay, you've climbed the mountain. you fought hard. I'm not going to lie. I've, I've been toe-to-toe -to -toe with you If it's right tougher here, than I tougher, they already lose. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I know. It's been a lot of suffering, but we're right there. Question number 10. The goal by Gabriel Jesus to make it 100 points in the Premier League for Man City away at Southampton. What minute of the game did he score the goal in? Kevin De Bruyne passed Gabriel. So, and after uh, it was extra time. 100, 101, or, uh, no, 91 or 92 or 93. It was that. 94 maybe or 95 or 96 or 97. So, I got it. 5-5, five, five. we draw. I, I like you have to draw. We, 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 you cannot beat me. So be nice to me, come on. I'm 52, I'm too old, you have to be nice to me. So the question <laughs> was so difficult. Man, the answer to that question was the 94th minute. 94. Jesus. Okay, now will not, I will not forget it, that's for sure. Absolutely, listen, and we have no question about it that indeed, Pep, you do know ball. We appreciate you so much for joining us today. Before we head out, what is your favorite memory? Can you tell us about that historic season? No, everything. So when you do that season one in every, 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 every game was uh, was so special. Of course, the celebration of Southampton was incredible in the locker room and everything. But now we felt we we won the Premier League in a special, and special way. So do 100 points. Always had the feeling that the records are there to be breaking. So one day one team will do 100 points or 101 or two or three. But to do this, they have to do the perfect season. So we, we did it and, uh, you know, in our memories will be. No, absolutely, absolutely. And we hope to see you and have much, much more success. This has been You Know Ball with Pep Guardiola. 